Hi there, um, I had a couple of people asking about this uh, ridging plough. So as you know, in just about all um, growing applications today, growing things in rows is the most efficient way of managing everything. First of all, it manages the space where you know it allocates the place for the plants, and then also a place for you to walk, so you're not going crisscross and all over the show, show making a big mess. Irrigation too, and there are different ways that you can set it up depending on um, whether you want your plants to be well drained, um, or we want to keep in as much moisture as possible and then also for things like um, picking and lots of other things. Now before you use your ridging plough you've got to um, have topsoil that's fairly fine so that you can easily you know push those blades through and get the nice sort of shape. You don't want to be you know pushing big clunky bits around um, otherwise it's not going to hold that nice shape. So that, that's what happens beforehand and then um, and then it's actually quite easy and light work but having said that you want a ridging plough that's heavy duty that's got a decent amount of weight to it and it's well anchored back into itself that means it's really steady when you're going into those runs because being so wide you know it just needs to hit a little bit you know and it can be off all over the place if it's a light one so you need a heavy duty one like this and look at it it's handling the job no worries at all now it's supplied with um, four blades and in between those it makes um, three ridges and for this time around I just set it up with um, three blades only um, because I wanted to make those um, rows fairly wide. So as you can see you can move those blades quite easily across to wherever you want to. In the combination of how close together those uh, blades are and how deep you go that can determine whether you end up with um, nice rounded mounds or whether it's sort of like this and a bit flat on the top especially for this application I, I like to try and get a, a bit of a hollow in the middle um, because I'm not using polythene and that just helps to um, hold some of that rainwater. but for your application it may need to be set up differently don't forget that a ridger is just the last thing out of three things three main things that you need for setting up a crop you need a plow um, you need something to rotivate it up and, and then comes your ridger so check out our other listings and all of our gear is heavy duty so it's going to handle you know if you've got a light job today but a bit down the track something's a bit more heavy 